Okay, what's up guys, Ogrimmer here, I am back, we are playing Riot! Search and Destroy, like I said we would. And, um, real fast, for all the people out there, uh, AJKilla12 and many other people in the lobby said hi to YouTube, so yeah, say hi back to him, post in the comments, uh, hi, if you made it this far, and by that far I mean the first 18 seconds of the video, so yeah, if you made it 18 seconds in the video, post hi in the comment section, or type in AJKilla12, something like that. Yeah, I can link him the video after it's posted, but, yeah. You can exo-dash forward while in the air! Amazing! Hee-hee-hee-hee. <laughs> Cannot wait to freaking struggle to get my capture card working again. Alright, well, who do we have on our team? We have World War II Freak, Swagger Squad, uh, Austin Gonzalez, and I Envy Evil, and Trick Psycho. Dude, he's a freaking psycho! OMG. Oh yeah, I talked to the dude who, uh, who tried ninja defusing me and said it wasn't very nice when he stole my kill because I was like going to play it out and he's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. It was freaking hilarious, but... Uh, I was beast. Alright. Oh, yeah, this guy stole my move. That's what I freaking... Oh, hey. Who do you think you are, bud? Uh! <laughs> yes! Uh, God, I feel like he wasn't even... Oh, uh, dude. I didn't get the kill. That guy was on my team. Dang it. Oh, wait. Maybe I did. Okay. Um, kind of... Oh, wow, game. You're really gonna freaking... Dude, that was a triple SND kill cam. I shot that dude. I shot another one. Then I punched the dude in the face, and I have three kills. Just to prove it. See, look. Three, you know. Dude. Wow game you freaking screwed me over oh, who cares even if it didn't show it in the final kill cam uh, I did I was the person who did it so anyone that's in this lobby can go check out the video and then see it and then go see that I actually did do that but hey I mean I don't play it as, I don't I don't play SD a lot anymore but I mean I, I've been playing SD now since like 2000 freaking whatever black ops 2 yeah I've been playing Search and destroy since 2000 Black Ops 2 seems legit to me, but all I know is I've been just playing S and D now since Black Ops 2, and I've been a beast at it ever since. I mean, I remember like in Black Ops 2, when the combat knife was like a thing, like I would go around, I would go knife only, and I thought I was a freaking beast, but in reality, it was freaking terrible. But yeah, I was terrible when I thought I was good with the knife, and I mean, I would go into search and destroy lobbies on standoff and I would be holding the knife and like hiding in the bushes and crap and like this dude would run past me and I would knife him in the back then he would be pissed off but yeah apparently I thought that was good then I remember I remember my first ever like good game that I like my first ever flawless game was on um, a team deathmatch I was with uh, who you guys know today as uh, Waddle I was on team deathmatch playing with Waddle uh, his friend and um, another one of his friends but uh I was completely alone on the team now. When the game first started, like, I knifed, um, I got stunned, and then Waddle came running in the room, and I, like, just got unstunned, I knifed him, and, yeah, but, oh, I'm dead, or not. Oh, hey, 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 there's a second guy. Oh, I still don't know why I'm doing freaking callouts, but, I, apparently I am. But yeah, anyway, oh, frick, all right, yeah, anyway, um, I, I, all I did, like, you guys, uh, if you've ever played standoff before, like, you know that building up in the top? Like, the, build, the big building in the middle, and then it has two floors, like, up in there with the big window that, like, overlooks it. I, I swear, I sat there on the stairs with some random dude's MP5, or MP7, or whatever it was called, and I camped the entire game. I didn't get full streaks, but, um, I remember I had a sentry gun up, and I went 17-0. And, and, yeah, I remember, I remember when the game ended, I was like, ew, that was like 17-0, and the waddle, the freaking waddle, and all his face, you camped the whole game. And there's a good story for you guys, I guess. I have a system hack? Oh, wow. Oh, I played S&D a few days ago, I went 20. I went 20 and 3. If you don't believe me, I'll throw a picture of it, I'll link you guys a picture in the video. Or at least, like, I'll post it on something. I don't know what I'll post it on, but I, I went 20-3 and three a few days ago on S&D on this game. And for all you guys that say it's not possible, um, it is possible in this game because, uh, there it goes up to, you need six points to freaking win on this game. Why did I call in a warbird? 
I didn't mean to do that. Now it's gone. God dang it. I freaking wasted my stupid warbird, dude. Oh, that's upsetting, actually. Who cares? At least I can... Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, we lost Austin Gonzalez. Why did he leave? I'm sad now. God. So, yeah. Yeah, the, the rounds go up to six on this game, so overtime is ten freaking rounds. Which is a lot of rounds. So, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, we have four points. That would have been a win in normal S&D, but, the, you know, this is gay S&D. Not real S&D, but, hey, it's, it's still it's still start to destroy, except it's on Advanced Warfare, which is terrible. <laughs> All right. My God, I'm looking at the camera right now. The quality is freaking horrible, and ever since I broke my freaking camera... Okay, I'm gonna try, for the sake of you guys, to um, uh, get my capture card working. Oh, wow, that was fast. Great job. Get ready for the next round. How many people are we fighting, dude? That was really fast, actually. Oh, wow. I feel so bad. Wow, that's freaking so unfair. That's so unfair. Really, game? Freaking start throwing some people in the other team. I feel bad. Oh god, I did have a warbird though, and I freaking called it in just as I died, and it was horrible. I should have saved it for like another round, like this round, but I didn't. Because you know I'm stupid. I freaking waste my streaks. Alright. Oh, I just realized I'm using the wrong class. I am such an idiot. Freaking, I've got like. System hack and Warbird and Paladin on. I'm playing Search and Destroy. I mean, I'm still surprised they got those streaks. But I mean, I wasn't even using my S&D class. Oh, yeah, they're trying to make comeback. Hold on. Freaking make my way there. Alright, teammate, you clear them out. I'll defuse. I killed him. All right, and round win. Okay, so for the end of the video, I'm gonna prestige and see what I get. Hopefully, it's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still an unfair game. Ten and one. All right, I'll take it. Okay, I think I'm done playing uh, S and D now. I'm gonna back out, and yeah, that'll be it. All right. So I'm going to back out, prestige, that'll be the end of the video, and then I'm going to go play some Dom for another video. Swagger Squad 12! <laughs> freaking. He's freaking max level, dude. He, oh, that's the dude dressed in purple that I like, punched at the beginning of the game. Or shot and then punched some dude, I think. I don't know. Oh, and guys, if I ever get Black Ops 2 working again, um, I think I still have that, uh, that thing saved in my theater, so I could show you guys my first ever, like, match where I actually went, like, I mean, because I sucked at COD since, I mean, like, Waddle and his friends, like, they got me into COD, but, I mean, I played other COD games before that, like, I had Black Ops and I had MW3, I just never played them at all, ever, because I thought COD was boring and stupid, but, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not a very high rank in either of those games. But then, um, like, when I was playing, like, GTA 5 and crap, then I got bored with GTA and Waddle and a few other of my friends in, on PSN, and they started playing Black Ops 2, so I got into Black Ops 2, and then that's when I, like, really got into Call of Duty, but, yeah, there's a fun story for you. Other than that, like, I have played other Call of Duties. I mean, I've been playing COD since 2010, but not a lot during 2010 and 2011. I mean, 2012 a bit, and then 2013 came around, that's when I, like, seriously got into COD, but, I don't know if that story actually made sense, I mean, I'm, I mean, it's a vague memory, so, don't really, oh, dude, I got a freaking perma unlock something, oh, jeez, I perma unlocked, like, everything in the game, so I don't know what I need for a Prestige 13, but, I could, if I, if I could perma unlock attachments, I so would, um, You know what, should I do one of these? I mean, you get these kind of early, but still, I feel like I should. 
perk one, perk two, or perk three. Alright, it's going to be one of these three. Perk one. Enter prestige. Oh god, I'm prestige 13 now. Alright, what do I get? Oh, player. Oh, ooh! Oh wow, that was it? Seriously? Really? I'm just going to get a stupid player card and advanced supply. Why the frick did I get my Atlas tier craft? Oh, I have two supply drops. Okay. <laughs> hey, wasting our money. Except I got these ones for free, so don't complain. Yay! Yay! I got stuff that I cannot wait to never use. That's awesome. Alright. Oh! Oh, frick! <laughs> oh my god! Yo, I just freaking opened an obsidian steed. It's too bad I never use it, though. I mean, I already have one, but... Still! Ooh! Oh, I got the H1 too. That's the last. I have every version of the MP443 now, including the uh, the retired one. Oh, dude! Yes! I got the combatant too. That one's that's freaking. Oh my god, the links stupid. Still, I opened an Obsidian Steed, and that's pretty good. I mean, I already have it, but I mean, I don't even use it anyway. I don't. I don't like the bat. Okay, in case you heard that, someone just texted me. But yeah, Armory. Redeemable loot. All right, I gotta sell my new obsidian steed because I don't want my du I don't want duplicates. I need to keep as much space as possible. Um. Well, first let's sell my uh whatever the frick it is. My combatant. I don't need that. Yeah, selling stuff is gonna rank me up, which is why I like opening supply drops. After I prestige, because then I get stuff that I already have, and then I sell it all. And I mean, still, getting that freaking elite, though? Dude, that obsidian seed, that's seriously going to help me rank up. Yeah, look, see, I have two of them, right there and right there. But yeah, I'm going to sell one for 2,000 XP and then rank up a bunch. Alright. Exo Stim. Alright. Uh, I think I got KVA Leader Pants, too. Hold on. Pants, pants, pants. Oh, yeah. Here's the pants. Yes, I did. All right. Sell those. All right. And since I perma-unlocked everything in for my first class because I'm a nerd, I'm now going to remake my class. Let's use my insanity because, you know, that thing's freaking OP. I personally don't like using OP guns, but, you know, the insanity is kind of, like, just a thing for me. I mean, I don't use a lot of OP crap anyway. I mean, I use a Strider and an Insanity, and uh, those are, like, the only two, like, actually overpowered things that I use in my class, but... Other than that, I don't use a lot of, like, elite stuff, to be honest. I mean, most, like, literally my entire outfit's enlisted. Why am I freaking... Alright. Alright. Hardwired! Oh, yeah, Perma Unlock Scavenger. Blind eye, that was already on. Low profile. And then, because I perma unlocked like every streak in the game. System hack. Um. Warbird. Paladin. Yay! There's my class. Actually, I can't put three attachments on yet, but. Hey. <laughs> oh, and let's throw diamond camo in there, because, you know, diamond. Alright! Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll game her out.